on everybody, welcome back to another Morning Word. Thank you for joining us this morning. For those new to this, this is where I share a couple minute video really to share from my own personal Bible study. Why? Because I've seen God by applying his word, take my through take me <laughs> take me through the worst of valleys some real dark moments but also mountaintops that i never thought that i'd reach and i really believe that god wants to do that in your life and the reason i'm so confident that he wants to take you through your valleys and to your mountaintops is this god left a promise in john 10 10 he says i come to give you life and life more abundantly now one of the ways that we have that abundant life okay is, as god says is as a man thinketh in his heart so is he so if we can change our thinking my friends if we can start to think like God, there is nothing, there is no problem that is too big for God. So no valley that you can't come through and no, nothing that's beyond God's possibilities, which means there's no mountaintop that you can't reach. So I really pray that this blesses you today and let's really get into this. We're going to be reading from the book of 2 Samuel, which is in the Old Testament and the 10th book of the Bible. And we're going to be reading from chapter 22, verse 5 to 7, and it reads this. The waves of death swirled around me. The torrents of destruction overwhelmed me. The cords of the grave coiled me around me. The snares of death confronted me. And in my distress, I called to the Lord, my God. I want to call this morning's word, what to do when you're feeling overwhelmed. What to do when you're feeling overwhelmed. Now, if, if you've been following any of these stories um, and these other morning words, you would have seen, heard about the story of King David. Now, King David was one of the most remarkable men in the Bible, but he also had one of the most traumatic and stressful lives as well. You know, he was forgotten about by his father when, he, when you know, people were looking at who's going to be the future king. You know, all the other sons were brought out. He wasn't. He was chased by the king of Israel, hated spear thrown at him, even though he was only trying to help he was hated by his own family, he had rebellion in his family. He had to go against great armies. He had the loss of his child, trauma, distress, disappointment. David had it all. So if there's anyone that you feel that no one understands, read the book of David, read the, the book of 2 Samuel, um, and you'll see a person who's gone through pains and trials just like you. Now, here's the thing. What is David saying in the scripture? He says, listen, when, when life was overwhelming, I needed to rely on something bigger than me, something bigger than my problems. And David's relationship with God was the thing that got him through. It was David's relationship with God that allowed him to see that, Do you know what, I can get through this. I can battle through this. And we all need someone when we're going through stuff. If you're gonna get through, if you're gonna be a success in life, you have to find those people. For me, it's also God, okay? That's gonna help you to get through those difficult times because they are coming. And if you try to face them on, the, on your own, you will be overwhelmed. So that really leads me to the question in the morning. Who or what do you run to when your life turns crazy? Here's the lesson of the morning. Life will bring you trouble. And I, I hate to be able to say that and I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but life will bring you trouble. And how you handle it will determine how successful your life is. Your success does not based on your life going easy. Success is based on how well you handle the trauma that will come into your life. Now, what is your default? Will you scurry away and, and bury your head in the sand? Or do you have someone you can turn to? And that's what the lesson is. Find people that you can turn to, who can help you and encourage you and support you through your trauma. The number one person I would say that you should be depending on is God. Because he knows an answer for every one of your problems. And if you rely on him and the other support of people around you, you can come through any valley, my friends. I promise you that. And that really leads me to the action of the day. The action of the day is this. Find key relationships to help you in the storms of life. People who can help you and encourage you and support you. But the most important person you should find is a relationship with God. Now that's a key relationship that can help you get through any storm. So God bless you. As we always say with Gen Hope, God's gift to us is life. What we do with that life is that I give back to God. Please subscribe to Gen TV where you get new videos Monday to Friday, but also you're able uh, to see a wealth of other videos as well. So please subscribe, but also leave your comments and let us know what you think. Um, did this scripture resonate with you? Did God tell you something different? Okay, I'm always interested. But also, does this help? That's, a, that's the job of you know these morning words, is really to encourage you, okay, so you can become everything that God called you to be. So God bless you and see you soon.